This is my isolation transformer off my workbench. I've got it off, I've got the lid removed, and I'm checking out the wiring inside of it. The isolation transformer works fine, perfectly. Not, I mean, why would I want to take it off the bench and start checking out the wires if that's the case? Here's why Old64 Goat, one of our good subscribers, put up a video yesterday and he modified this four plug isolation transformer that he had received from Radioman 56. Radioman 56 gave it to him. He's a heck of a nice guy. Uh, old Bill, Bill, who is a uh, old 64 goat, he's trying to set up a new shop, didn't have any equipment. He had given it all away or sold it or whatever. And he wanted to kind of get back into, you know, the swing of things. And, and uh, old Radioman 56 showed up and gave him a bunch of stuff to include this isolation transformer. However, Bill knew from having worked on this stuff many years, uh, he knew that there was something wrong with that isolation transformer. So let's find out what that was. Before we get into that, here's how he started the video out. Take a second to read that. He's got to make that isolation transformer safe to work on hot chassis AA5, All American 5, two prong plug radios. And the way it is right now, it works fine. There's nothing wrong with that isolation transformer. He could plug it in and throw in, you know, plug in all kinds of things to it. And it would work fine as long as he didn't plug the hot chassis radios, the two prong plug radios, which he will be working on. So he had to make a change. Let's find out what that was. I highly recommend that you watch this video that was put out by Bill. Here he explains that you have your primary and your secondary on your isolation transformer and you have a separate ground wire. And here he shows the problem. The modern isolation transformers are made for the three prong grounded uh, plugs that you find on all electrical equipment nowadays, or you know, the majority of it. Now, I've seen some, like hair dryers, I think, and uh, a couple other small things that only have two prong plugs. But he needs this thing to operate on those AA5 radios that were made a thousand years ago. You know, that's what we do. That's our hobby. We work on old antique radios, and this, you know, this this isolation transformer was not made to work on those things that old. It was made to work on modern equipment. So by building it using the modern equipment in mind, they connected the neutral side of the line. The neutral side of the, tran the secondary and the transformer, they connected it to ground. There's your grounding plug on your, 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 on your, uh, you know, your, your plug on the outside of the isolation transformer. So he wanted to show you, you know, this will not work. We cannot do this. You cannot connect the neutral side. This is supposed to be isolated from everything, but yet it's been connected to ground. That's the way he's done with the modern stuff. Now, watch the video, and he'll show you what he did about that. But what, what it caused me to do was think. I got thinking. I said, you know, I've been plugging two-prong <laughs> AA5 hot chassis radios into my isolation transformer left and right, never once giving it thought that maybe, you know, once the, maybe the neutral side of the secondary on the isolation transformer is also connected to the ground inside my isolation transformer. So I had no idea. Boy, I'll tell you what, this got me thinking. So it, that, it came off the bench and the top has been removed. Now, after watching uh, Bill's video, which I hope everybody does, if you work on these radios and you have an isolation transformer and you're using it to power hot chassis, Amer all American 5 radio, two prong plugs, you better watch his video. It could cost you if you don't. He did a he did a survey. He did a public safety service on that video. Anyway, after looking at mine and you know, you after you, if you have watched his video, you'll know that after looking at mine, I can safely say that mine is not like his. My neutral and is not grounded or connected to the ground wire. I am very happy to 
uh, to find that out. I, I was really worried. There goes the phone again. I don't believe this. Well, as you can see, the ground wire coming out of the electrical plug, which is in fact connected, where, where's my, it's connected to this third prong right here. That one right there. I've ohmed it out. That ground wire comes down and connects only to ground right here. It does not go over and connect to anywhere on the back of these two 117 volt AC plugs. But guess what? It doesn't connect to ground either. What? I'm looking at it right there. It's connected to ground. What's going on? What do you mean? Well, let me show you what I discovered. You're going to love this. Can you believe that? That thing is not even tight under there. The whole thing just swivels. Just swivels back and forth. I couldn't believe it. I said, this this is, I am so glad I looked in here now. Let me get down in here where I can see it a little closer. They put a rivet through there and they didn't bother, and they put a washer and then they, they just didn't bother to uh, tighten it up. <laughs> if I hold it, and for me to get a ground connection to these uh, center ground terminal holes, I have to take my reading not from this, not from this right, this washer here, not from this plate that's underneath there. I have to take it directly on this thing right here because there's, there's no connection there. Isn't that amazing? Well, what do we do now? We fix it. <laughs> I always tell you that. When we find something wrong, we fix it. So what I'm going to do is just a rivet. I'm going to go ahead and drill that rivet out right there and put a, put a bolt, uh, a lock washer, and uh, a nut. We're going to start probably maybe a lock, a star lock washer. And we're going to crank that baby down tight until we get a good solid ground on that. So, Bill, I appreciate you putting up the video. I don't have the same problem with my isolation transformer as you do, but you did help me find a ground that does not exist, okay? The rest of you tune into his video, and I'm going to show you what the name of the video is. Neutral. The name of the video is Isolation Transformer Mod, and it's old 64 Go. Which reminds me, Scott Johnston has a, an Isolation Transformer that was put together exactly modeled after this, except for the loose ground, that is. <laughs> anyway, you should not have a problem with the secondary ground with the ground being connected to the secondary neutral so those of you who still don't know what i'm talking about watch old 64 goats uh video i can't stress that enough by the way this isolation transformer was passed by qc inspector number five <laughs> and what is this thing again i want everybody to know this is a phc model iso 300 Isolation AC power supply. Okay? Beware! Always check. I learned a lesson here. Oops! Maybe we found a reason. Made in China. <laughs> Don't trust this Chinese crap!